Thanks, Mike. Alzheimer's and other dementias are not necessarily always primarily a head disease. It can also be a gut disease. We have two brains in our bodies, and here to talk to us more about this is brain health specialist Janet Rich Pittman. And thank you so much, as always, for being here. Oh, hey, Tanya. Thanks for coming back. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Yes, it's so good to be with you and all the Wiregrass viewers. Good morning. Okay, so talk to us. Explain to people what we mean by two brains in our bodies. That's right. We have two brains. You know, we all know about the head brain, right? That area between our ears, behind our eyes, but we also have another brain, and that is our gut. Right. The area between our chin and our pelvic area, all those organs, those are our, that's our gut brain. Mm -hmm. We create more neurotransmitters in our gut than we do in our head brain, mm -hmm. and we have more neurotransmitters in our gut than we do in our head. Now, What's I was going to say, what is a neurotransmitter? That's right, what's a neurotransmitter? A neurotransmitter are the messages that we signal, our body signals, up to our brain, and then our brain turns around and sends commands back to our organs. So we send those nutrients up, and then the brain commands our body through, through those neurotransmitters. And we have a key transmitter, it's called the vagus nerve, mm -hmm. and that nerve and all its tributaries, that directs our nutrients up to our head and pulls, them, pulls the nutrients and the commands back down. So I have an editor, and she says to me, she says, you know, what happens, it, like the, the Las Vegas, you know, it happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas, <laughs> happens in Vegas, right? It happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. The, gut, the vagus nerve in our body, though, what happens in our body, we've got to get it out there, get those messages out. Mm -hmm. So we have a gut brain and a head brain. Mm -hmm. And when we did, and that communication between right. the two is mm -hmm. called health. Right. And so I've heard people talk about leaky gut. I'm sure this is all connected. That's and right. Probiotics, that's one thing that you can do, correct, to help this problem. What are some other things that's people right. can do? Well, let's talk about a little bit about how we damage our gut. And, mm -hmm. and the way we damage our gut, there are two components to damaging our gut. Mm -hmm. and, and the first is sugar. Mm -hmm. We eat too much sugar. We can only eat about five to ten teaspoons of sugar a day. Okay. And so a soda, a can of soda has 15. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I try to stay away from sodas. They have so much. Yes. Yeah. And so what happens is, you know, our, not only our pancreas cre creates insulin, but our brain creates insulin. So mm -hmm. our brain becomes insulin resistant, which means we can't get the nutrients up to our brain. Our brain trails shrivel and die, mm -hmm. leading into dementia. They call some dementia, some Alzheimer's, type 3 mm -hmm. diabetes. Okay, I've yeah. never heard of that. Yeah. Okay. And then the next component, mm -hmm. where you were talking about the leaky gut, right? Mm -hmm. The next component is gluten, mm -hmm. right? Gluten has more genes. That's 150,000 genes. Mm -hmm. Our bodies, we only have 22, 25, 27,000. Mm -hmm. So what happens is gluten eats us. And it eats the inte our, our small intestines, the lining of our small intestines. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a, a sidewalk. You know, the mortar disintegrates and the rain runs through. It's the same thing. The, the gluten digests the insides and, the, and all the rest of the food runs through. And it eventually breaks our blood-brain barrier, causing hyperinflammation. That's the leaky gut, right? It leaks all mm -hmm. through. And that creates the, breaks the blood-brain barrier and breaks our our creates hyperinflammation in our brain. Okay, and I know we could talk about this for hours. We're going to hopefully have you back in, in the future to talk some more, but what are some other triggers to uh, brain drain, if you will? Th that's right. So we, it all starts really with the leaky gut, right? right? Mm -hmm. And the leaky gut, we're breaking that communication mm -hmm. and that makes our brain. So uh, other co components are, are lack of exercise, lack of brain exercise, loss of, physical e loss of physical exercise, and then the food, nutrition, coordination with the leaky gut issue, and then our balancing our hormones, we've got to get our sleep. Mm -hmm. So when those all, all of those factors are not synchronized, that's when our brain, we have really bad brain drain. Okay, all right, and what are some main takeaways? We're running out of time, but just what are some main takeaways that people should remember about brain health? First and foremost, you've just got, to, in order to have a good, healthy life, you've got to have good brain health. And in our, order to have good brain health, you've got to have good, a good gut. So clean up your gut, and you can help clean up your brain. You'll feel a lot better. You will, you'll feel a lot and better. And I just want to mention before we go today that you're actually an author. If somebody would like to purchase your book or get in touch with you and learn more, or how can they do about go well, about know, doing that? I've got a great article on this leaky gut issue and the mm -hmm. brain drain issue in, on my website, so mm -hmm. you certainly could get that. The I have signature articles there, and then also have my book. It's n nine signs you're experiencing brain drain and ways to keep your brain fully charged on my website. It's all free. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it's a pleasure to see so you. So happy to be here. Good Thanksgiving, yes. and uh, I will look forward to speaking with you again in the future. You too. Thanks. And thanks for tuning in. We hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, uh, celebrating with your families, and we will see you back here at 6 a.m. on Monday morning. Have a great weekend.